This is our extrude with interactive method movie. Shows you how we very quickly, very, very easily can construct very complex profiles uh, anywhere within 3D space, but without any great effort whatsoever. First of all, just to show you what we're going to construct, here's a Victorian style fascia, and along with that, we're also going to drop in the, uh, the sockets. I'm just going to delete that so we start from scratch. I'm going to hide our 3D roof. You can see there's our profile and, uh, and first floor roof. Let's go over into PowerCAD and you can see there is the elevation of our quick start building with the uh, soffit and fascia already drawn. I copied the fascia to a layer called fascia and soffit just to make it nice and simple and easy to see what we're doing. So first of all, copy the fascia profile into Interspace. This needs to go into the southern view just so Interspace knows generally what axis the projection is to appear. You'll notice that has no um, sort of positional relevance to the building itself. Interspace doesn't need to know that as you will see. Second part, go back to PowerCAD and you see we've placed two what will be plan views of our fascia and those are going to be placed on th profiles like so. That's where our fascia will appear. It's at a height that is appropriate for our fascia in PowerCAD. This height from floor to, to ceiling is 5735. That is important because we're using the height of the two points we're about to select to actually project and set where our profile begins. Okay, let's go into extrude settings. First of all, we set the profile to be used as an extrusion. Select interactive. And just to show you what's happening, we'll zoom in on the plan view. The first point sets the corner which is based on the profile and the second point is the actual direction and depth and you can see we've constructed there the elevation. Having dropped our fascia in all that remains is to add our soffit back into PowerCAD. You'll see we have three filled polys that are going to represent our soffit, we copy those and paste them over. Make sure they're going at the same height as the, the fascia board. Paste them in, and you can see they travel around the building, and it's then simplicity itself using a fixed mode, in this case set to 300. Click on each fill poly and apply, and the extrude is drawn at the correct height. Let's drag that into the middle so you can see a little bit, a little bit more what's going on. And there is our fascia and soffit in place. Let's drop, close the window down, just drop our 3D roof back on. And you can see the, uh, the finished object in situ. The profile there we can remove or keep for later. We'll just keep it on the soffits profiles. And we can close that down.